I'm going to show you how to create a new folder and share it in the web version of Outlook in Office 365. On the left hand side, you can see I've expanded my email and I've got a whole bunch of different folders and different options. But what I want to do is create a new folder. So I'll right click on the root of my account and create a new folder. This is the same thing in Gmail where they call it a new label, but in Outlook and Outlook on the web, you're going to see it being called a folder. So here I'll call this folder shared and there's my shared folder. I also want to drag some files in there. So I'll just go to say my inbox and I'll just drag over some data into my shared folder just so I have something to share. So now I'll click on my shared folder. and There's a couple of different emails there. Now I want to share this folder. So I'm going to right click again, and this time I'm going to choose sharing and permissions. Now it's going to give me the option of how I want to share this. So what you can do is you can choose default and anonymous to have specific permissions. Now, by default, they don't have any permissions. And I recommend that you keep it that way for security purposes. So I recommend that you click on plus instead of giving access to everybody and just type in the name of the person that you want to give this access to. Or if there's somebody that you've done any types of email in the past, it will show up in this list. So I'll go ahead and choose Martha, click add. And there's Martha. Now I can choose the type of permission. So again, by default, it's set to none. So I'm going to choose which one of these. Now the highest up is owner. That means they can do anything they want to that particular folder, including deleting data. The publishing editor is the next one down, et cetera, et cetera. Now if I choose editor just as an example, you can see which boxes light up when you do that. So if I were to check all the boxes, then you could see eventually you would get the owner. So you can either choose the drop down way of doing things or just check and uncheck boxes as you decide to do so. So I'll go back to editor and I'll click OK. And now Martha has access to that folder. So when Martha logs in, she'll be able to see that folder and she'll be able to click on it and have editor access to it. So that is how we create new folders and share them in the web version of Outlook in Office 365.